What's up, YouTubers? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video about the LG V20, my gaming review with this device, and it was hot. So today, guys, I picked a lot of devices here, and we're going to do a temperature check uh, with all devices. So right now, I have the Lico Lee Pro 3. I have the Alcatel uh, Idol 4S. I have the OnePlus 3. I have the LG V20, I have the Nexus 6P, I have the Exxon 7, and I have the Honor 8 on deck, right? So today, guys, I'm going, I have all the devices on, but their screens are off, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to power on the devices, and I don't have Wi-Fi on, and I don't have 4G LTE on, and we're going to run a temperature check app and we go let it run for a few minutes and check it. Then we go run a benchmark test and check the temperature on all devices and see what it's all about. So get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start turning on the screens perspectively on all devices and let y'all guys see that uh, all devices is at halfway and Wi-Fi is off and 4G is off. So I will show you guys this on all devices. All right, guys, so we're going to open up the app and we're going to start the timer. And we're going to do this for 10 minutes. So let's go. All right, guys, so as you can see, all devices, the devices is calibrated differently as far as screen, guys. So you're going to see some screens brighter than other, but you saw that uh, I didn't have, I got all the devices halfway, so it's no big deal, and uh, it's not science. I got all devices halfway, so you go to see some brighter than other. That's how it works. So let's start the timer, and let's see which device get hot. No Wi-Fi and no 4G LTE on any device. Okay, so we almost at the five minute mark, and no device is affected uh, as far as temperature. Now the Honor 8 uh, it's been maintaining the 87 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, uh, but all devices been pretty much the same. Uh, but we're going to turn on Wi-Fi and see if we're going to have any changes. So uh, we're going to turn on Wi-Fi on all devices. So now, since we have uh, turned on the Wi-Fi, we start to get notifications in. Uh, let's see what CPU start to heat up. Then after the 10 minute mark, I'm going to run benchmark test. And then we're going to conclude and see which device is hottest. So right now, since we turned on Wi-Fi, we get notifications coming in. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're starting to see some temperature changes here, uh, especially at the Honor 8. If you can see the Honor 8 went up to uh, 98 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the Nexus 6P went up to 98 to 96, went up to 100. So now we got all the notifications coming in. So now the CPU is starting to work. Uh, the uh, LG V20, still cool. And we got uh, Wi-Fi on on this device. So let's see, give it some time and see which one is gonna start rising uh, at the 10 minute mark. All right guys, so we are at the 10 minute mark. And so we're gonna do is uh, we're going to run uh, a benchmark test here guys. So we're gonna run Geekbench 4, all right, on all devices. All right, guys, so the benchmark test is done. All devices, I just ran benchmark tests. Uh, so, uh, wow, look at this. Wow, the Honor 8, guys. The Honor 8 uh, ran one of the highest benchmark tests uh, that I ever saw. I know we got some updates, but I just want y'all guys to see that. Uh, the Honor 8 uh, scored pretty high on the benchmark test, guys. So, all right, so I just ran benchmark test, guys. Y'all can see, if, since we're here, this is Geekbench 4. 
So i uh, let y'all guys see all the scores prospectively. Uh, I'm going to do a benchmark test uh, video uh, for all devices. Uh, the OnePlus 3 here. Uh, and man, very poorly here uh, with the, the V20. All right, the V20. Uh, and the um, Nexus 6P. All right. Uh, and the um, XL7. All right, X on seven, and again the honor eight. So let's go ahead and close that out, and let's go ahead and run the temperature check and see if they defected a little bit in the CPU. Of course, it did, as you can see that uh, yes, the devices did crank up a little bit, uh, not by much. So we're gonna look at that. All right, so all in all. Uh, my biggest concern with the LG V20, uh, when I did a, uh, a, a gaming review, this device was on fire, it was very hot. But as you can see, uh, this device is pretty cool after running that benchmark test. Uh, so there you have it, guys. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. I wanted to show you guys this test because I was concerned about the LG V20 running very, very hot when I did my gaming review. If you look at all the CPU here, all of them kind of low, normal. Uh, and there you have it, guys. So this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these temperatures, guys. Take a peep at them. Get down in them. Let y'all guys see them. After running benchmark tests and screen on, also uh, having the Wi-Fi on with all notifications coming in. There you have it. About 19 minutes in. Leave a question down below. Let me know what you think about the CPU test, heat test, and also benchmark tests. See you guys on the next video. Peace.